Hey guys, so uh, yesterday you looked at character symbolism in the story. Um, today we're going to step it up a notch and we're going to look at character change symbolism. So basically what that means is I want you looking for events throughout the story that force Guy to become this dynamic character that he changes over the course of the text. And I want you to identify the symbolic significance of each event, at least how it's changing him or what it represents in the change in Guy's personality. So for my example, I'm going to use uh, the one from what you just read. Um, Guy escaping the hound jumps in the river. He almost drowns. Um, he's taken out of the city down the rushing river. He like he, he had get put that fake scent on himself um, to smell like Faber so he wouldn't smell like himself so the hound couldn't find him. That gets washed away. Um, he is literally taken away from his old life and washed clean. Um, so there's a lot of symbolism going on there. Whenever we get a river, there's usually some sort of symbolism happening. So my significant event is going to be surviving the river and his escape. How did this change guy? Well, like I just said, it takes him away from his old life. It also washes away that fake scent that they had put on him. Um, it allows him to sort of start anew, right? It's taking him away from his old life. So symbolically, this is like with, ri with rivers, guys, and water usually has to do with like cleansing or purifying. Um, because he's washed down this river and it it's like leads him to his freedom from this oppressive dystopia, we're getting this idea that he is cleansed and purified from his own, from his old life is cleansed that old life his his life as a fireman that's washed away he is uh reborn almost which is what i want to get to into my explanation um basically he's baptized in this moment i know that sounds really weird i'm not getting religious i promise but the point of baptism is that you're like washing away the sins of your previous life and you're committing yourself to God and um, a Christian life, right? That's the point of baptism. So again, not getting not getting religious, just the idea of that. He's left his old life of burning books and being ignorant and just numbly moving through life. That's all washed away and he's reborn with this new outlook on life, this new appreciation of things. He is starting afresh, he's starting new. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, you're doing the exact same thing with just two other choice events. There are so many, let's be serious. This novel is really about how Guy changes. So there are a ton of events you can use. You can use events from the beginning, guys. I put a little link to the PDF here. If you just don't remember what happens in the story, you can kind of skim through a little bit. Um, but there's stuff in the very beginning that you could absolutely use. There's stuff in the middle, there's stuff everywhere. So. Good luck. If you have questions, please just message me. I'm happy to help you and guide you through this, but I hope this little model um, helped you figure it out. Good luck, guys.